Andy, that was that was a tough one tonight, wasn't it? But the, you know, you were you were up against a championship side. How, how did you see it in the end? Yeah, first of all, congratulations to Michael and, and his side. Um, I think when they when they scored so early in the second half, it, they had total control. Then I think um, we spoke about having that little bit of luck uh, that we we need on our side and for us to play uh, our best. Um, and we probably didn't get the little bit of luck, a slight deflection for the first goal. Uh, but say so we, we have to give credit to them. It, it's the level that we're trying to get to. Um, a number of young players in, in our in our group, and, and we've seen firsthand now that the. the the level of championship players and the championship team. Um, I thought they, they controlled uh, possession, they, they, they executed a lot of things. How we're trying to play in our own league, but obviously they're better at it uh, because they're playing in the championship. So um, we, we should focus, I think, on when we, to get to this stage, to get to the quarter final for the first time in our history. Uh, I thought that the fans and the atmosphere they created right at the start tonight was great. Uh, and so we, we're just disappointed that we, we couldn't make that last step or at least make it a closer game. That first goal obviously is, is, is difficult to take and there's, there's no blame attached to anyone for it but then the second one to come in so quickly afterwards that, that was a bit of a body blow really wasn't it? Yeah listen the, the, we we realised as and when we could try and press them aggressively and go man for man and static balls were, was always going to be our aim that we could be upset their rhythm um, but they managed to get out of a, a tight situation on this side of pitch and, and transfer the ball over uh, and then have the house and shoots from 25-30 from yards and it, and it takes a takes a nick and loops over Connor uh, but we, we we played into their press for the second goal really and it, it's a pass which was probably on five or five seconds earlier which we, Kofi would have had more space and then he, he obviously gets caught with the ball and I, and I think I think that was another one of the standouts now. I think when they regained the speed of the transition then to, to go from from one area of the pitch to another one and quickly attack our goal is, is a lesson for us because as soon as say, the ball was turned over there was a forward pass and there was players sprinting at full, at full pace and, and, and that was one of the big differences tonight. Kofi will, Kofi will learn from that won't he as well I know he's, he's still a young player with a big future to come in the game and but it's it's nights like this where he, he will learn what's required I suppose. Yeah listen everyone will you know whether whether you've played the championship before whether you're a young player who, who, who has hopes and aspirations of trying to get to that level and it's not until first when you actually play against that level of player and that level of team that you realise the, the quality. Um, when we watched a game last night, Birmingham against Leicester and Leicester's transitions were just incredible, the, the speed of them. So, listen, everyone will learn. Um, so I, th I think we helped them by, by playing into that press uh, probably a, a little bit too late and helped them, but we obviously get caught with a ball. Um, but we have to learn. Everyone has to learn um, individually and collectively um, to, to progress their own career and become the best player they can be. Um, a word for Funzo, obviously, came off at half-time. I know he was a, a late check to go into this, yeah. and, and, and Oli Arblaster as well, who looked in a fair degree of pain. Have you got any news on them? Yeah, uh, obviously Fun Funzo was close, and, and we decided to, to go with it. Um, but we'll, we'll see how, how he is now uh, after that 45 minutes. Oli is a much bigger concern. There was a, a really deep gash around his knee, um, and I think he's gone right down to, to the bone. So he's obviously in a lot of pain. He's just gone to hospital now. Um, so obviously he, he's our, our number one concern at this moment in time because not only because but he's, he's been so good for us both on and off the pitch and he's embraced everything we've, we've tried to do uh, and, and the culture and environment of the football club uh, and the way he's bought into it um, so yeah it, it, it's fingers crossed that that's not as bad as it could be and put Ryan Anuche on towards the end obviously to try and get as many bodies up there as yeah. possible that opens up options not just for tonight but for, for other games as well isn't it if you want to try and do that in future and maybe go with a, a, two, two of the bigger guys the target men up there in future if you want to Yeah listen we, we, we put two up there at the end and you, you're trying to create something um, that, but the the control they had and made it really difficult for us to even get anywhere near the ball. So, um, so it's congratulations to them. We, we can learn so much from tonight's game, uh, individually and collectively, about the, the level of the championship uh, and what each individual player needs to do to get to that level. Um, but say, so it's congratulations to Michael and his team, and I hope they, they get a successful draw and, and they, they get success over the two legs and go to the final and lastly of course now it's it's the focus goes on to the league doesn't it now and that's the priority over the Christmas period to to get as many points as you can and yeah. and I suppose all your focus has to go on to that now doesn't it you can't afford to dwell on tonight at all yeah just said that now straight away you know what's in our control now is, is a game at, at Wickham in, in four days and we have to recover really well um, we, we we did that process really well after last week's uh, midweek game and I thought the, the energy we played with against Wickham on Saturday was evident 
for everyone to see. So we, we have to focus on that now, and each player has to make sure that the, the engine, um, that the tank is full of energy to go to go to Wickham on Saturday uh, and go and try and back up the, the two wins in the league we've just had.